Hello, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions. Have you ever had this problem here where one motor runs and the other doesn't? Or when you throttle up they just go at different speeds, one running a little faster than the other? Well I'm going to show you how to fix that and while I'm at it I'll also show you how to set the brake and turn the brake off. So stay tuned. So the problem is that one ESC is calibrated for a different throttle range than the other ESC. And how does this happen? Well one way is you get these ESCs from the factory that way. I don't know, they just come differently calibrated and you have to fix it. The other way is for some reason you had your radio trim set differently when you calibrated one ESC than the other. I don't know how that happens but it can happen inadvertently. Okay, so what do we do to fix it? Okay, so what we do to fix it is, first of all, we start over again. Let's go ahead and turn off the plane, and then I'll turn off the radio. Just a safety note, it's a good idea to remove the props from the aircraft before doing this procedure. However, for the video, I wanted to leave the props on so you could see what was going on. I tied the plane down with some lead weight so that it can't move. Okay, so the way we fix it is we go ahead and turn the radio on first Welcome to Toronto's. with the plane off. Engine off. Manual mode. I'm going to go ahead and Engine on. make sure the throttle is activated. I have a throttle hold, so I'll just turn that off so it's not on hold. I'm going to move the throttle stick all the way up, and then I'm going to be listening for a series of double beeps and there's four double beeps but I'm gonna pull the throttle back down before those beeps end okay so that's it now it's calibrated and if we move the throttle up the motor should start spinning right away like that and they're spinning together so that calibrates the throttle range at both ends so at zero it's calibrated and all the way up to a hundred percent it's calibrated okay now let's show how to do the brake problem right now as you can see I don't have any brake which is the way I like it but what if you wanted a brake well we could do it a very similar way using the beeps so let's go ahead and turn the plane off Again, I'm going to move the stick all the way up. Now this time we're going to let it go through the whole four double beeps, all four of the double beep sets. Then when it's done with those four sets, it's going to go into the calibration for the brake. And that will be four long and short beeps. And during that time, we can move the throttle down and change the brake setting, toggle it. Okay, let's go ahead. Gonna turn the plane back on. This is the first four beeps. Okay, now here's the brake beeps. So before all four go by, I'm gonna move the throttle down. Okay, now the brake should be set. Let's try it. See that? Now let's say we want to turn the brake off. Same thing. We'll turn off the plane. Move the throttle stick all the way up. Turn the plane back on. We'll let the first four sets of beeps go by. Go to the long short beeps. Here we are. I'm going to pull it down. Okay, so now the brake should be off again. And you can see it is. So that's how simple it is. And if you want to know, let me get my sheet here. Most ESCs have a manual like this that you can download that has all the beep patterns listed in a table. And there's a whole bunch of functions you can change. You just have to wait for that beep pattern and during the pattern move the throttle down to change the feature. So there's all of these different features that can be affected. 
So I hope that was helpful, just a simple way to set those features because a couple people had asked me about it and I didn't realize that everyone didn't know it. But it's one of those things that you just have to learn. So if you want to hear about more RC tips, just stay tuned to my channel and subscribe if you're not and we'll see you later.